What's up guys? This is Rupert Boy Customs here. I do not know why this thing is all upside down. Hold up. There we go. Alright guys. Today, I've been getting this request on Facebook. Yes, I still use Facebook for this exact reason. But, some people keep asking me about my steering setup and my suspension setup. Because most people use ATV steerings and yada yada yada. But I wanted to go the cheap route and use the factory suspension out of a regular Murray. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But first, I'm a, I'm pretty hungry. You know, I can't think right if I don't have enough food. So, yeah, let's go make some food, I guess. You know, she's hungry. Before I do eat, here's the what it looks like. There, yes, there's ranch and cheese in it. There's ranch. There's some melted cheese in there, too. So, yeah. 100% freaking husband material, baby. Alright, guys. So, let's get the hood on open. There's the old Tecumseh. If you go the heck was that? Okay, I don't know what the heck. Come down here, you see there is no bolts in those little holes right there. Right there and right there. Because I had to delete those to make this whole thing pivot, right? Now here's the catch to it. Since it pivots, we cut the chunk. See where that little hole, that big giant hole is? Right beside it, we cut part of that shaft off and part of the shaft off on that too, so it won't hit each other. So that leads you to independent suspension like I want it now. Now, the th way to keep it from flopping everywhere is to make a coilover bracket for your coilovers. So it'll keep its stiffness. So this won't keep smacking on the framing crap. And I got these on the highest setting as they can go so it can keep this thing up while squatting it and crap like that. And the bracket is just a piece of axle shaft from a three quarters axle shaft. Weld it to that plate. Weld it to this deck plate with a um, front end um bracket back at tree for like braces because i'm moving this thing it's moving the whole mower so that's not gonna go anywhere and i got it at an angle so these will come at an angle and those just a whole already through so now when i do this side it won't even move because these things just that tight like literally that tight if i loosen these up i think freaking tire stuck on the exhaust that's one bad thing about I'm literally moving this you big tires ain't letting it move Ugh. that tires on the fly I got to buy another tube for it freaking tube freaking pinched but yeah if that tire moves that one won't so it's pretty much independent now um steering actually still works when it's jacked up on the angle the steering still works and this thing gets takes the lot and now it's actually more stable you may not think it's that stable but it's like super stable like i can pull on this thing all day and it's not like that tractor here where when you pull on it the whole front side come over because i know for a fact this one see how that one's easily can flip this one's actually super stable now it used to be like that with their original just straight axle and it's and with that it's actually more stable because i know for a fact this thing is super top heavy and i need something to keep it stabilized and i think this will really stabilize it and there's you know what? i think i got enough footage but i might as well do an update too on the thing while I'm thinking about it because I hadn't did a couple update videos on the scene since I don't know when actually 
The last time I seen it is when I had this motor in. That's close enough. But here's some things. I finally found a starter for it. But the freaking battery shot, so that's great. So I can't drive the thing until I get a freaking battery. Um, the exhaust, I'm really in love with the exhaust. Uh, we use the factory headers. May it where it go down there. It'll shoot out the back. It has a resonator on it too. Because that pipe has a, we put resonator pipes on it. Uh, like this one here has a resonator pipe it goes to this two inch pipe to a three inch pipe right there you can see that little lip and it'll come back and that two inch pipe that three inch pipe goes down to a two inch pipe it has a little like flange on it where it goes big and it goes back to small so that'll take all the popping out you know how people just have it just straight and they have that pop 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 so hopefully this one gives a deeper tone and like a pop, 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 like a pop sound instead of a pop sound. And I just put these tips on here just to put them on there. Just to make it look pretty decent now with those. I need to gut that one back out because it looks mighty ugly. And that wasp is pissing me off. Jesus Christ. Um, That's pretty much all the stuff I did. And doing a different stinger on the back. Well, yeah, and I also got a part break now because the part break didn't work with the power shut off. All it is just this latch and your latch takeoff system. All you do is freaking push this down and yeah, latch this. Alright, so see how this part break works? There's that lever right there. And there, when you mash this, when you push this down, it's going to pull against that. That slots this up, so hopefully I won't. So all you got to do is pull that down like that. And it works. And when you mash the clutch, clutch still works. So that's a pretty neat clutch system I came up with. And what I really love about this freaking engine is it dual carb. It has dual carbs and... Plastic float bowl, so I shouldn't have to worry about rust getting in the float bowl when gas sits Which is pretty neat and they're pretty easy to um, clean you just pop these little rings off it's like little rings down here and Boom you're out and yeah throttles all hooked up right here And I didn't even have to make a linkage it came from the factory already made so that's sweet and chokes same way I can't even move choke because stupid thing gets a choke lock <laughs> like that so dual chokes both of them move too it's pretty sweet so yeah hopefully this summer I can give y'all guys a good show with this beast but yeah guys that's all I got to do um I'm probably about to go to sleep now again it's just now 10 something in the morning but oh well uh but yeah guys that's all i gotta do well all i gotta say and talk to you guys on the flip side hopefully i can post out videos like i used to i just don't know why but i'll come up with a video and never do it i just i just don't get it i guess because every time i do something always happens but yeah that's pretty much it Alright guys, so here's some stuff I have to put up there that I noticed when I watched this video, but if you see like tack points, um, the exhaust is not finished. We just did it just to see it because we're so in the rest to see how it's going to progress. So that's why you see the exhaust tacked up and not fully welded. Uh, I just had to address that out now. And here's another thing. Um, the red is not going to be red anymore. Because uh, we had a fellow bandmate that died and his favorite color was purple. So what I was planning on doing is all the stuff you see red will be purple. I'm still keeping that gray paint job. Because I think that metallic gray paint job, black and that purple and the purple I'm using. So, and also, I made this cool looking dashboard. 
Um, it looks like a race pack, so I think that's pretty cool. I think y'all like it, like a race pack dashed out. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And talk to you guys on the flip side. Peace.